Mount Ogre Toe? Mm-hmm. The toe of an ogre? Yeah. Is the size of a mountain? Unite Camp. Yeah, it's a really big ogre. Is Unite Camp like a, a drag show you put on? <laughs> or do you just pitch tents? It's what is a, Unite Camp? It's, it's a really elaborate drawing. <laughs> Yeah, Unite Camp is a weird one that's really hard to learn how to use it first, but, you know, normally you hold Y and it brings all your people together. But if you just keep them closed up like that for a long time, <laughs> they get in a tent. And you can see our battery meter is now turning white. Unite Camp lets you supercharge your batteries, which means you get extra batteries that slowly drain over time. And also, no matter how big or small you make your drawing, it'll always be the largest Unite Morph it can possibly be. Ah, uh, that's so awesome. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I love camp! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you have a full battery meter and charge the entire thing, and, you know, you pull out, like, a 100 size Unite Morph, it'll stay for... it'll be 100 size for much longer than it normally could be. All you just gotta do is sing Kumbaya and, uh, tell some campfire stories. Mm -hmm. Also, the, uh, the tent is different depending on how many people make the tent. Unite uh, S'mores! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what you saw there was the 15 up camp. Uh, the 100 size camp is the same tent, except it looks like it's going to explode because there are too many people in it. <laughs> and, and a 10 size camp is just a tiny sleeping bag. Aww. Yeah. yeah. I'll get that at a later point. But yeah, I, I love Unite Camp just because of how it looks. And in here, we got the first new bomb user. All right. Are they cool? Wonder Prisoner? I guess. Wonder Pri of course he's from Alcatraz. <laughs> of course he is. I think he went to jail for the bombs. I don't know. I would hope. <laughs> no, he learned how to make bombs from inside jail. Mm. The, the American justice system is really messed up. <laughs> For all the other different improvements that have happened to the world, uh, the justice system's just gotten worse. You can combine it to giant hands, but otherwise, hmm. What is this? We need Unite Fire Hose. Well, I was getting in the way. We can jump in here. Ah. Fire traps oh, are moving. That's much too fast. So I yep. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they get a fair amount of use out of slowing down environmental stuff with the bomb. Mm-hmm. Also, the bomb's, like, super easy to level up. Oh, okay. Just because, like, a lot of weapons, you have to hit stuff a lot to, to level up the bomb. Just because it's so slow, each hit gets you a lot more experience. Well, that's handy. So if we throw the key into these pillars, we can move it, which moves these things up here. Huh. I can dig that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. There's no... Speaking of digging, there should have been a, a Unite Shovel. Yes. Oh, there should have been uh, something that did the opposite of Bomb and make things go faster. Mm. And then they can just reuse all the puzzles from Beautiful Joe. All right. Yeah. Recycle that eight-year-old concept-ish. <laughs> you move all this stuff. Get the water over there. It's sort of like a fire hose. I was pretty close. Mm -hmm. Pretty close. And where there once was a whole bunch of lava pouring out, all these spots have treasure in them. <laughs> of course they do, of course. Mm -hmm. Even when the lava's there, if you get really close to it, P-Stars still start, will already start beeping. That's that's nice. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, hey, there we is can something get here. here. Look, look for ways to get rid of the lava. There's something. That's handy. And there's one other little thing you can do with those pillars. Uh, this one back here, it's the easiest way to do it. Uh, but when you look where the water is, you can see there's a really big boulder up there. It's got something shining behind it. Uh, but normally you can't get up there because the the water will push you away. But if you just move one of those pillars, you can stop flow the water, and then you can get up there to that rock. Uh-huh. 
And because it's already frozen, you don't mm -hmm. need to... Okay, that's cool. Uh-huh. It doesn't instantly lava again without the water. <laughs> right. Could you ladder up there, or double jump up there, or do you really just need the rocket at this point? Oh no, you could double jump or ladder up there, but I just like using the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. There's no shame in doing it the cool way. Mm hmm. Ever, ever. No special, uh, the wonderful ones crewed up here, but there's a heart piece. There are only a couple heart pieces left, I think, since the a fair amount of our health is just going to come from leveling up mm -hmm. more people. Might be like five more pieces left, I think. Aren't you glad there's no fall damage in this game? Uh, yes, absolutely. I've also been playing Shadow of Mordor recently, which is another great game that does not have fall damage. Roundabout doesn't have fall damage, I've been playing that. Roundabout doesn't have fall damage either, and Roundabout's also pretty good. So really, what we've determined is if your game has fall damage, it's bad. <laughs> Take that, Donkey Kong! Oh no! So these guys are just like... They're pretty similar to the, the guys we fought last time. Uh, although they do have giant throwing stars on their backs, so they have additional attacks where they can throw slow-moving, like, homing ninja stars at you. Uh, but it's not too different from the normal dudes who just have the claw hands. Also, they're babies and can get juggled very easily. Yeah, much like babies, they <laughs> juggle easily. Yeah. I'm no longer allowed to watch children in the state of Illinois. Oh, uh. no. So, something with the bomb is that enemies who can, like, instant rea instantly react to some of your attacks to, like, put up a shield, uh, even if they're slowed down, they can still start blocking you. Huh. Uh, but it'll just take them a much, much longer time to pull their shields out all the way. Um, well, so... I guess that's all you really need. Yeah. What'd you get from that rank up? I missed it. Anything? Oh, uh, I think I was. I just got some more health. I think I missed it. Yeah, whatever. Or am I just been notifying that me about that a couple people leveled up at once? The bomb's really good. It's one of my favorite Unite Morphs in this game. It doesn't seem to do much uh, in the way of variety, but what it does, it sure does do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the bomb's really good for... Uh, I did a little bit of it last update, uh, but really good for settling, setting up juggling combos that otherwise could not happen. Right. Or juggling multiple people at once. Uh, you can also use the bomb to kind of cheat at a couple fights in this game due to a... a I don't know if it's a bug or an oversight. Uh, but, you know, damage done within the bomb's field uh, is increased. And nice. we also bought the attack liner. Certain enemies, <laughs> certain enemies in this game are really big, which means your attack liner and all your people are constantly colliding with it. And if... You hit those certain enemies with the attack liner a whole bunch while they're in the bomb field, uh, they will die almost instantly. Fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't work against all enemies though, so... These guys look vulnerable to that strategy. Uh, it works okay on them actually. Uh, but mainly like really huge things and a couple bosses are uh, mm -hmm. weak to it, including one of the last bosses of the game. <laughs> nope. Are, are you actually tipping this yep. where you, when you go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... And I imagine you can fall off if you're not careful. Yeah, if it tips all the way to one side, I'll just fall off, and then you get you lose some health, and it restarts you back on this thing. Uh, but yeah, if enemies are over there, it'll start tipping. Uh, I'm, the hammer, unfortunately, doesn't make it tip faster. I thought huh. it would, but... Yeah, you'd think. Yeah, um... But yeah, like here it's tipping enough that the guy all the way on the left side there just keeps falling over and can't really do anything. <laughs> You've passed the tipping point of no return. <laughs> a really easy way to get to the other side too is just jumping a lot in the ball. 
makes it really easy to tip it. The gun is one of the Unite Morphs that takes the longest to level up, just because I th I'm not entirely sure, but I think the experience you gain is based on how much damage you deal. That maybe? makes sense. And yeah, the gun does very little per shot, so you gotta use it a lot to level it up. Because we still haven't gotten Rising for the gun. <laughs> and everything else has got that, I think. Oh wait, no, the claws don't have that yet, I think. Well, the claws we also didn't get in like the third update. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that flashed. That flashed. Mm. I saw it. I saw mm -hmm. it. I was messing it up, though. There we go. Gotta do the Q pattern, because that's a normal thing people draw. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you can also kind of kill the frame rate when you're fighting these cube guys, uh, if you're team attacking every single cube over and over and over again, it'll like slow down to crawl. Not like, it won't get choppy. It just gets <laughs> slow in like the Mega Man slow down way. Everything just goes into slow motion for a little while. People don't even need help. They're not even I, saying help. I think they're just cheering you on. Yeah. They're, they're big fans. Big, big fans. Mm -hmm. That's what I say to people who are mean to me. <laughs> Whoa, jerk matter detected over Whoa. here. Yes, I think it is safer to assume they have discovered the location of the super reactor. So what do we do? Fly out of here? We would be swatted into the lava like so many flies. But we About a hundred flies. Like, roughly. What is it with you scaredy cats? Whatever happened to full speed ahead? That's what I've been saying all up. Deuce? Dang it, kid. Not even what the Uno. Look! What are you doing here? I told you to hide and stay put! Luca, recklessness is never braver. I wish Luca had the, the costume the Luca character in Bayonetta has in Bayonetta 2. Oh. He's, he's dressed up like a, a, a journalist that really wants to be a cowboy. <laughs> He looks like the biggest nerd in the world, and it's great. Investigative reporting has failed. We must fight. Why would you disobey a direct order? I wanted to ask you about it, but I did not get the chance. Just let me keep him, okay? I promise to take care of him. We don't have much choice now. Babies are not puppies. percent your responsibility. Keep him out of trouble. Great, what are we running here, a daycare? You're cutting the kid a lot of slack just because he was one of yours, Red. To the team! Unite Glider! So, so we are going in after her? One of his? What? Uh, hello? Not finished here. You know, Red, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for the longest- A moment, please. I believe the big fellow is looking our way. He just likes cutscenes. Yeah. He's very interested in the plot of this game. <laughs> and and what the heck's going on with Luca. Wonder. I think of everything in this game, what's going on with Luca is the thing that least interests me. Mm. I don't Yeah, I Luca's don't care. Yeah, Luca's just the annoying little kid. I, I guess I'd care if something this is what, the third mission he's stowed away on? Yeah, I think it's the third. Nothing new was really unveiled th on the second one, so it just seems like weird, poor pacing. Yeah, I th they do reveal stuff in this one. Okay. I feel like Ma this should have been the second time he appeared. Ma maybe this time I'll, I'll get on board with it and get interested. Maybe not. <laughs> I will say it, it 
something involved with it is pretty cool, at least. It's not Luca, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> Luca's never cool. So now this guy wants to stomp on us, but we have these traps here. If you set them for a little bit, it'll activate spikes. Hey! hey. But you gotta dodge off them. Because uh, otherwise, you will also get spiked. Naturally, of course. Also, he falls down faster each time. Oh, that's tricky timing. Yeah. Thankfully, they're they're kind of lenient with the time requirement here. It's not like you have to get it perfect. That's he, good. You gotta hit him three times. Uh, you are in low rule after all. <laughs> yeah. They give you enough time to make, have like six attempts maybe to oh, get a platinum so on time maybe. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you have to find the Lego man to stick it in there. <gasps> I figured out the next puzzle already. Mm -hmm. If only that was a new wonderful one. Wonder Lego? Wonder Lego, yeah. From Denmark. <laughs> Those are totally Lego dudes. Those are basically Lego dudes, yeah. To be honest, I would love a, Leg a wonderful 101 Lego set. I'd be pretty into that. The whole box is just minifigs and you have to figure out how to pluck them together? Yeah. Wonder Bulb! He's striking a pose of that one attack that one dude from DBZ does, I think. Yes, yes he is. I forget the name of the guy. The guy that has three it's eyes. the Solar Flare. <laughs> That's right. His name is Tien. His Tien, yeah. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> so there's a, kind of a cool trick you can do with Unite Camp here. Norm it takes so long to activate, it's, it's like impossible to do it mid-combat. But, uh, there's a trick to activate it very quickly. And it's with the taunt move. Okay. So once you start, once you taunt somebody, you can just tap the button a couple times, and it'll very quickly put you into camp mode. Uh, uh huh. This isn't. You don't have to do that the second after you taunt. The taunt of a status effect stays around for like six or seven seconds, maybe. And any time during that, you can turn into camp mode. Okay. Yeah. Being sassy with people often puts you into some sort of camp mode. <laughs> So it, it works out, yeah. And some of the other uh, wonderful ones do have their own unique uh, taunts, but like Wonder Pirate, all he says is just, hey, that's his taunt. <laughs> not, not even like Yar or anything? No. Nope. Hey. Yeah, it's, it's Yuri Lowenthal going, hey. <laughs> Did he even know he was recording a line? <laughs> Maybe Somebody not. tapped him on the shoulder in the booth and, hey! Hey. Oh, I put it in, whatever. <laughs> wonder eeny meeny pirate. Yeah, wonder pirate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Retrieve the orb! Orb Lord! Yes! There's also a treasure underneath the orb. The most treasured orb. <laughs> Why is Wonder Beer so sweaty? I don't know, man. So you gotta get the orb through a whole bunch of traps. Uh, acquiring the bomb and some other stuff. Uh, if the orb gets destroyed, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay. Like, after every single trap, it, like, checkpoints the orb. Oh, good. That is, that is good. Yeah, so, like, if you went through that first spike trap and then broke down the second one, it would spawn in between the first and second trap. It's really nice about that, actually, <laughs> which is a little surprising. Uh, but yeah, getting the orb through stuff is not particularly difficult. Toss that orb, toss it. You can also just climb the wall over there with the claws, but some little scorpion dudes will appear on there if you do. But why would you want to do that when you can just toss the orb? Orb toss. You, you can claw up the wall with the oh, orb? Wait. No, I'm sorry, I mean, you still have to throw okay. it either way. 
So I guess that's the way to go if you're farming for every last point, maybe? Yeah, I guess. Might, might as well just build a bridge. Yeah. Got places to go, things to do. Mm hmm. Giant jungle cat robots to stab. <laughs> as you do mm -hmm. in your day to day life. Yeah, if you listen to the Wonder Pirates grunts too, it is also just clearly Yuri Lowenthal <laughs> doing his normal Yuri Lowenthal voice. I wish he had an actual pirate hey, voice. I just watched uh, Stephen Bloom in his theatrical, probably highest billing. Really? Yeah. He is one of the box trolls. Oh, is he? I didn't I, know that. Actually, I think he's three of the box trolls. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> D. Bradley Baker is also two or three of the box trolls. Oh, man. Uh, I forget her name, but she's uh, the new annoying Sonic friend from Sonic Boom. She's one of the box trolls. Oh, uh, one or two. Sticks? Yes. Or something that's, sticks. That, that's the name of the Sonic character, <laughs> not not the lady. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fred Tasticuri. I'm probably forgetting exactly which. Uh, oh yeah, that consonants guy. are in that name. The oh, guy wait, who's is, the Hulk in everything over the last is, is five years. Is that the guy who always gets hired to do lots of growls and grunts for yes. scary monsters? Yes. yes. He was in MGS4. He was the angry growly voice for all of the the lady bosses. Yep. He's in everything. And the, the lady whose name I forgot was uh, Raging Raven in MGS4. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And also, that reminds me, uh, the lady who voices Vision in this game voiced Laughing Octopus in MGS4. <laughs> so there you go. Everybody's in Metal Gear. <laughs> Gary Lowenthal's definitely in Metal Gear. He voices some of the soldiers in, like, all of the games, I think. So that goes to show you how interesting orb dragging is. <laughs> It doesn't help when I mess it up. Um, you just need a really big bomb, just to make it easier. Um, Box Trolls is a lot of fun, though. It's, it's all about uh, class warfare. It, it really? advocates for uh, social revolution. Huh, alright. Mm -hmm. Lego Man! Lego Man! Oh, are we gonna have to, like, escort the Lego Man now? No. Oh, good. No. Nope. There's a dude! There There's is a dude. A dude. Up top, possibly a lady, it's so hard to tell. Oh. Mm hmm. It's a good eye, though. I missed this dude the first time I played. Whoops! Anyways, excuse me, Lego Man. Oh dear. It's a good thing I don't think it has lungs, or else you just suffocated the poor Lego Man. It's Wonder Voodoo. Oh no, it's already dead, but was possibly never alive. Wonder Voodoo is a nine-year-old elementary student. I don't know how that works. Oh, it explains how Voodoo doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. Voodoo dolls are an uh, 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 invention of the tourist industry. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, not even associated with Haitian Voodoo. What the heck? Hmm. They're, they're fake, made-up uh, uh, New Orleans Voodoo. It's different voodoo. 